documentary review, uh, Bound by Blood. It's a few years old, but it's the story of Frank Shamrock um, after his retirement, trying to put things back together with his two fractured families. Um, it's also the first time in I think it was 17 years that he and Ken sat down and had a talk. Um, there's some real history in that documentary. It's a very, very good documentary. As long-time viewers of the channel know, I'm a big fan of the Shamrocks, big fan of Frank Shamrock. Um, years and years and years and years and years ago, 11, maybe 12 years ago, I emailed Frank Shamrock about, uh, I, I said, me and my brother just started doing an MMA training. But Frank Shamrock replied, which is pretty cool, but his reply was, train hard, fight your brother, get paid. I'm not saying the feud between him and Ken was a work, because I don't think it was, but I definitely think they were both looking at the money signs and they could, they should have made something out of it. Um, in this documentary, Frank also goes back and visits his brother from the other side of his family, his actual blood line, he, he and Ken are adopted brothers. Um, you see Frank just break down constantly in this. It's It's kind of brilliant to see you know, the, uh, he was a King of Pancrase, or interim King of Pancrase, UFC middleweight champion, WEC middleweight champion, uh, Strike Force middleweight champion. The fact that he's not in the UFC Hall of Fame, I think personally, lessens the UFC Hall of Fame. It's uh, Frank is at a point where the UFC Hall of Fame needs Frank Shamrock to legitimise it. He doesn't need it at all. It's a very, very good documentary. It is available on YouTube. I will link it under here in the description. Uh, if you're a fan of MMA, it's worth watching. If you know people who don't like MMA because they think, oh, it's just a bunch of big thugs and brutes, and, you know, guys with tattooed eyeballs and whatever, trash talking. If they're, if they're pointing out the recent, you know, John Jones being coked off his tits, crashing a car into a pregnant woman or whatever it is, or, you know, uh, Conor McGregor throwing trolleys through bus windows and stuff like that. If that's all they know of MMA, sit them down and, and, and watch, make them watch this video. Um, I like it. I think it's, it's a very good documentary. It's a very entertaining and informative documentary, even for people who are not MMA fans, and that's very difficult to accomplish in a sport like this. So if you get a chance to watch it, do watch it. Um, if there's anything you'd like to see me review here, books, documentaries, films, uh, textbooks, biographies, autobiographies, whatever it might be, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to get to it.